Hey guys, happy Saturday. My 28th birthday was last weekend. We went to a sushi restaurant and then the next morning I got spoiled rotten by Mike and he made me pumpkin waffles and pumpkin coffee and um, chai tea latte cupcakes for my birthday. And it was a really good day. So I'll insert those clips now. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it does. Really good. I don't know what's what. I don't know either, but it looks like a great happy birthday. <laughs> Ooh, your ramen looks good. It smells really good. Ramen, egg, duck. Yum. I'm excited. So what is it? We got pumpkin waffles, okay. candied bacon, and sausage. All right. Well, you just let me. <laughs> we have pumpkin spice coffee with Mike's homemade pumpkin apple um, syrup. <laughs> okay. Then we have some German bratwurst, mini bratwurst, with some candied bacon. So this candied bacon is candied with some brown sugar, some maple syrup, and some pumpkin. And then, for the main course, <laughs> we have pumpkin waffles with homemade pumpkin spice whipped cream. Wow, you've really outdone yourself, and honey. if you want to get really fancy, we can garnish with a little bit nope. of cinnamon. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say pumpkin spice. <laughs> no, with cinnamon. <laughs> But that's okay. You don't no, have to. No, it's okay. I'm excited to eat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mrs. Jessica. Happy birthday to you. And, oh Jesus, many more! Oh no! Blow it out, hurry, hurry! You gotta keep going, 28. <laughs> keep going, there's lots more! Yay! Oh, thank you, wow. That's all we did, so it was just a very relaxing weekend at home and Sorry that the light keeps changing. It's cloudy outside and actually looks like it's about to rain. Um, but this weekend we are quarantining. Neither one of us are sick, but we're just taking the extra precautions, making sure that we stay healthy and stay home because COVID cases are rising here and things are starting to get a little scary out in the world. So um, that being said, we are spending the weekend getting this house ready for the baby because I am a few days away from turning 36 weeks, which means she could be here in as little as two weeks if she decides to come early, or she could be, you know, five weeks away still, but we just wanna be prepared. We also have a lot to do around the house, like a lot. I'll show you what needs to be done because <laughs> it's, it's a lot. This is what we have to do today. <laughs> we have gotten so much mail in the last few days. So I gotta clear off the table. I just vacuumed two days ago and there's already so many piles of dog fur everywhere from these two hooligans. And then this 
is all of our packages that we need to open and sort through and find homes for. I'm so excited because this bottom one is our cuckoo clock that we ordered in July. So I finally made it here. And then the rest of these, I believe, are baby items. And then the kitchen, I pretty much cleaned the other day. There's just a few things I need to get done, like do a lot of dishes, but it's really not that bad in here. And then the worst room that I'm embarrassed to show <laughs> is our bedroom. So our dresser kind of threw up. We need to take the AC unit out of the window and put it in storage. I need to wash the sheets and we need to figure out what to do with all of this laundry. And I know, this is overwhelming. This is pretty much the space that gets neglected. That is our bedside sleeper. That's the breast pump. And I wanna get this corner basically set up for a newborn. So that's what's on the agenda for this weekend. Just tidying up, getting things picked up and setting things up for the baby. Yeah, we have a lot, a lot to do in here and uh, it's overdue. cleaned up, organized. Uh, we still have a couple laundry baskets to go through and um, find what to do with, but we got the bassinet set up. There's our baby blanket, breast pump. Um, we got the sound machine right here. So this is really nice for nighttime. And uh, we got the kitchen all cleaned up. Looking spotless, minus recycling in that corner over there. But Mike's making dinner, it's almost ready. It's in the instant pot. And I got the kitchen table cleared off. Mike has to get rid of the laundry pile right there. <laughs> but we have all this mail to open and I've been waiting to open it. So we're gonna do a little unboxing and see what everything is and what it all looks like. This is from Mike's Boss, and this is the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Soup for ages three to six months. So that's nice. Looks <laughs> like a little marshmallow. <laughs> we put this on the registry because I was told this is um, great for transitioning out of swaddles, so that is why we got this. You got a baby blanket and then a, a portable changing pad. So I got this for the diaper bag and then this I got to have like a fleece baby blanket because the other one we have is that muslin cotton material. So figured I could take this one to the hospital and make it smell like her so I can bring it home to the dogs. Oh, that's nice. They can uh, get used to her smell before she comes home. Oh yeah, that's a nice size too. Okay, this big box is from Amazon Prime Day. So we basically got a majority of the stuff on our registry on Prime Day because most of it's on sale. And then I also used a 15% off registry coupon. So we got some good deals. There's a lot in here. Okay, packed this full. Here's we got the Munchkin dishwasher basket to do the nipples of bottles and pacifiers. So 
can start sanitizing that stuff. And then we got this um, no touch forehead thermometer. And then these are fleece washcloths for bath time. So these look like they're gonna be really soft. They're just kind of big. That's okay. This is for the parents. And these were on sale. And you got two of them for I think like $18. Usually, like if you buy them at the PX here, it's like one for $16. So I claim this one. Michael get this one. But we figured we could use some new travel mugs for the winter. We got the Tommy Tippy Closer to Nature uh, bottle starter kit. So there's a couple of pacifiers in here and then different size bottles like nine and five ounce. Perfect for newborn, hopefully she'll take these. And then we got this, which I'm excited for. Our friend got us the Boppy Lounger but I think I'm gonna use that more for like tummy time. This one's a little bit more flat, so this is easier for travel. Yeah, it's really cute. So they're just little rainbows and it's just a baby nest. So once it's all put together, that's what it'll look like. So that will be fun. Set that up on the couch, prop it up and just let her hang out in a little barricaded area. And then the last thing, go with bottles is a giant rack. But yeah, that was our uh, Amazon Prime Day deals and little haul. See, I'm excited. We got a lot of stuff. We still got one more box to open. Mike, you wanna come open this last box? Sure. <laughs> the last one is our cuckoo clock. Okay, wow, well, they Pack this really well. If it's not in one piece, I'm gonna be surprised. <gasps> Careful. These are not good for puppies. This is gonna be really hard to get this box out though. The peanuts are coming out. Okay, it's fine. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Loki, leave the peanuts. Hey, leave it. Uh -uh. Uh. Leave it. Good grief. Hey, leave, <laughs> leave it alone. Well, it looks like the shape that we ordered, so that's a good sign. <laughs> um, I'm trying to open it. There's a little sneak peek. <laughs> that is stinky. <gasps> wow. I can't see it. Does it look wow! Good? That looks really good. Oh, snap. That looks awesome. <laughs> that looks so good. They did everything perfectly. All right. That's so cool. Look at, I even like the handwriting, the way that they carved in Weber House. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> now that's a cuckoo clock. That's a little man in a <laughs> Okay. okay, even the little deer or the elk. Yeah, I gotta put his little antlers on, I think. Oh, I was gonna ask you, yeah. What happened to his little horns? <gasps> wow. This is our family cuckoo clock, and as you can see, represents Weber House. And if you can see on the bottom of the clock right there, it says MCC, which means Master Carver Certified. So when you see clocks that say MCC, it means that everything is 100% 
carved from a master carver. Sometimes there's other clocks that will say made in Germany and that means 70% of the clock is made in Germany but then they have overstock like Chinese products on it. So a lot of times it's like the characters or the figurines or the people or just like certain interactions and stuff will be Chinese that they bring over and add to the clock. So basically MCC is the way you want to go if you ever get a clock in the Black Forest. So that was our weekend. We got so much stuff done. I feel much better. The house is clean. Things are put away where they need to go and yeah, we're pretty much ready for her whenever she decides to come. I am exhausted. I have not been sleeping well. I'm going to go take a hot shower and then unwind and get ready for bed. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. <music>